for every program that you write in this class, you're going to store it and keep notes on it in a OneNote notebook. For week one, you'll have four programs to store in your OneNote notebook. You'll do example 2-2 from page 10, module one, program one, drawing lines, module one, program two, ellipses and rectangles, and your homework project. And they will all be handed in in OneNote and graded in there. This will help you because you will comment your code to help explain what it's doing and put notes after each program to explain it. And then when you get to, the, to take the exams, of which there will be four, you can use your OneNote notebook with all of your programs and all of your notes to help you when you're out taking your exam. This will really help you to document your program well. It's also going to turn into a portfolio of your programs that you will hand in to the MCC portfolio to help you graduate at the end of the class. To create a OneNote notebook, you can use OneNote that comes with Office on your computer, either your Mac or your PC. You'll want to use OneNote 2013. If you don't have it, you can sign up for a free light version by going to OneDrive. OneDrive is Microsoft's cloud storage solution. It includes a lightweight version of OneNote. You can use an existing file if you have one, which I do, or you can sign up for a new one, which is totally free. To create a OneNote notebook, you'll choose Create and OneNote Notebook. You should name it PRG105 dash your last name. You'll create sections for each week of class. So you will end up with week one, week two, week three, etc. So you'll have one for each week. And in each week you'll have multiple pages. So for week one, and it will be in your, at the end of each week, you will see that you have a assignment, week one, one note notebook, you'll have one for week two, week three, etc. And it will summarize what should be in the notebook and how much points you get for each. So for week one, you'll have those four programs. And so each program will have its own page. So you'll have example 2-2. You'll have program 1, module 1, lines, and so forth. When you're working with them, You'll copy your code from processing so for example you'd have a simple program like this which creates a line and you would run it And that's what you'd get. To copy your code over, you can hit Control A or you can right click and select Copy. And you will just paste it using Control V or Command V, depending if you're on Mac or PC. And then I also want you to take a screenshot of the results. I'm recommending that you do that using Jing, which also works on a Mac and, P and on a PC. It's completely free and it's very easy to use. So you would just grab a picture and you can capture the image and you can copy and paste. If for some reason you're having problems copying and pasting, we had that issue in class, you have the option from Jing to take the image capture the image and you can save it and 
it's very easy to insert it simply by choosing insert picture, then find your picture, and choosing insert, sort of like attaching something to an email. So either by inserting or by using copy and paste, you can put the results in. There's also a way to take video with Jing. So if you have something that's animated, which there will be a lot of, it can capture a video. When you're done, you'll just stop and upload it to Screencast. And if you're using that where you're uploading it to hand it in, you'll just copy and paste your URL. And that will allow me to click on the link and go see the video. Not that there's a lot to see here, but it will play it. And so those, that's how you'll document. So you'll end up with a different page for each program each week. This will give you everything in one place. At the end of the course, I'll show you how to convert it to a PDF file, which becomes your portfolio. The nice thing is, again, you can have this open while you're taking your tests, and the tests will be based off of the programming examples you did and information from the book. So that's how you'll hand in all of your homework is in your OneNote notebook, and that will again form your portfolio for this class.